And we are back. It is that time of night again. And we are keeping up the three scary game format for now. Because I'm really enjoying this. <laughs> but I'm going to make it a habit. But I do enjoy it. And if you click on title, yes, we are doing three scary games. The first game coming up is called Wrong Floor. And we're just going to hopefully jump right into it. And I am not capturing game. There we go. Wrong floor. My model is blocking the the person who made it, but by N4BA or NABA, if that's what I am. To at least I'm assuming is that how you pronounce it anyway. Forgive me if I pronounced it wrong. But we got three games to go through. It is late. I should be sleeping, but my insomnia is kicking in. So I say no to sleep, and we're just going to get right into it. Wrong floor. Let's go in and play. I don't know which floor I live in, so this is the wrong floor. I don't have my uniform yet, but maybe when I get to the right floor, I will get it. Oh, I am playing already. Uh huh. Oh, okay. I don't know what floor I'm supposed to be in. I thought those were shotgun shells, but cigarettes, I'm assuming. Oh, there's a the dog in that house. Better use the elevator. There's an elevator. All right. Well, I'll use the elevator. I'm so lazy that I can't take the stairs. I don't know where I'm going. I just know I'm on the wrong floor. Oh, I might get motion sickness from this. Oh, can I turn off the camera shake? Oh, please. Thank you. Oh, I exited the game on accident. <laughs> oh, I thought that I thought that meant exit. Exit the, uh... <laughs> I thought that meant exit the settings, but oh, I, I gotta... I gotta take off the camera shake. That would have got a motion sickness, and I would have called it an early stream. Alright, so let's call this elevator again. Okay. Camera shake is off, but I do feel a very slight headache. I get motion sickness easily when it comes to camera movements like this. The reason I don't play games with motion blur as well. What a creepy elevator. I am so lazy. Okay. Uh, let's go to floor. Uh, that one. I'm gonna be out of it. It was only for a short while, but I'm gonna be very out of it with this. Uh, I should have known what camera shake was. Oh! Uh, well. It appears this is the wrong floor. Uh, I, the elevator stopped abruptly. Uh, I, can I close it? Can I close it? Can I close? I can't. Can I close it, please? I'm gonna take a little intermission after this game is over. I need water. I have a body. Well, it was the wrong floor. I should probably get back in the elevator. But I must be very frightened. Oh, I cannot see anything. Uh, can I... Can I take the lamp? I can. Oh, what is over there? Is this a door? It is very dark. Need to turn on the elevator generator. I'm assuming it's this way. Oh shit! A rat! And a dead guy. Um, excuse me, sir. Do you happen to know where the generator is? Good talk. I. It is very hard to see. Is there a brightness? There is no brightness. I didn't exit the game this time on accident. Wow, it is so dark. I cannot see anything. Can I move this light? Am I going anywhere? If I walk backwards, I know I'm walking somewhere. Oh! Maybe I should not look at the floor when I'm walking. I would have noticed there was a light on this way.
I'm assuming that's my heartbeat, and I saw a shadow. Excuse me, your brother has fallen asleep outside in the hallway. Is this the ASMR part of the stream? Hello? I picked up a flashlight. Just what I needed. I don't know why I didn't pick this up the first time. There's probably a rat in there. Ah, my sensitive. Oh, wow. Someone had to really take that, that dump. Whoa. Okay. You're going to come at me like that with your bandaged body? Okay. These them's fighting words. I'm, I'm just here looking for the generator. You, you here trying to fight. I know I'm not in uniform yet, but you trying to fight. And I'm going to win this fight. I'm brave. I'm a brave boy. My name is Freya. I have fought the world and won. You will die by my hand. Rain or shine, sun or snow, you will die. I will let you know. That is healing wallpaper. Uh, attention, extremely dangerous maniac. Height, 2.5 meters, age, cur approximately 30, cuts all over the body. Homeless, may hide in abandoned buildings or basement. The police ask for assistance in... Uh, uh, uh. This disseminating information about a particularly dangerous offender. Well, why is this down here? Did the guy like he he's he's such a narcissist? He's like, oh, they know about me. They even got this picture of me somehow. So I must put this in a place of my abode, and anyone foolish enough to come down here will know my wrath. Well. Mr. Maniac, extremely dangerous. I'll have you know I am very highly extremely dangerous. I am top tier trash. You are mid tier garbage. I'm ready to fight. I'm ready to win. You drinking cola in my damn basement? Oh, I'll have you know no food or drinks allowed in my building at all times. I still haven't found the generator, by the way. But you lucky. You gonna come at me, invisible? I'm gonna come at you, flying fist. I am specially trained in jujitsu. Oh, you waiting for me in the hallway? Why well, have you know? I got a stool in here. You think banging on the wall is gonna scare me? Oh no, you just banking me mad. I see the generator. Can be broken with a crowbar. Was there a crowbar? Was I supposed to look for a crowbar this whole time? really think banging on walls is gonna be enough to scare me I'm getting closer to you you are gonna suffer my wrath you've broken the door Pfft, I've broken down five doors Pfft, you one door me five I am a lot stronger than you you're gonna walk away from me like that I come in are you scared away from me like that all right I'm coming come coming I'm coming for you you see the sign on the floor it's about to meet your face well that's not a sign what, are, what is this? Cement. You see the cement? I'm about to pre met this all over your face. Breathe in my ear. I dare you. Where are you? Are you behind this door? I can't open doors. I could bust them down, but that's a waste of energy. Energy I should be wasting on you. Come out that corner. Fight like a man. Come out. I dare you to come out. You don't scare me. I scare me. I don't know if there's a run option in this. The code behind the red cabinet. Eh? Well, I don't know there was a red cabinet to begin with. Let me not hit it. 
But I hit it in the exit again on accident. Alright, just because you're tall. I may be four foot in height, but my courage is six feet. That's enough to fight you. Oh, you turned off the soundtrack. Interesting. Trying to make it quiet? You trying to be the tank from Left 4 Dead? I'll have you know. I am also the tank killer of Left 4 Dead. I even have the achievement. Tank Burger. You nothing but a burger to me. No oh, crowbar anywhere, huh? So I'm assuming behind that door is the crowbar. At least I'm just assuming anyway. Now, whether it's actually there or not, I have no idea. I'm biding my time here because despite my courageous talking, I am actually a little bit terrified. But as you can see, the breath coming out of my face. All right, he's not real. The first time I saw him, he just disappeared. Maybe he's not real. Maybe he is. Maybe it's just a figment of my imagination. I'm ready to fight and I'm ready to die. Is that trash bag always there? Yeah, probably, I mean. I can't. I wasn't able to see this whole time. Uh. So what red cabinet am I talking about? Exactly. There was a red cabinet over here. I'm pretty sure anyway. I think so. I'm not completely sure. You bastard. You moved. I thought you were dead this whole time. Actually, he's probably not dead. I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm clearly hearing him trying to speak to me. So, you tell me if, if the guy down here is real or not. Now, don't take that language of me. Interesting. Interesting. Very interesting indeed. You you speak facts or are you speaking not my language? Did anyone tell you you're missing an eye, by the way? I keep forgetting. I could zoom into these type of games. I was spending like five seconds trying to see if this guy would talk. Because he clearly moved. Uh, there, I'm, it, Was there a red cabinet back here? I am completely confused. Oh, there is a red cabinet back here. What's that behind? So do I have to move this entire thing? Is it possible for me to move this? It's slightly open. Are those eyeballs in there? Oh, those are eyeballs. Oh, uh, hello. The cabinets have eyes. Oh, oh, wow. That is actually very, very freaky. Oh, uh, hmm. Drawing from Silent Hill, I'm assuming. Uh, red cabinet. There's this one. Can I move it? Uh, oh, I meant to zoom in on that. Code 1990. Code 1990. All right. I don't know if there's a way for me to remember this. Excuse me while I use chat for a few seconds just to write this down. <laughs> Code 1990. Yeah, that is for me. 
because I'd rather just write this down in a place I could I'm already looking at than having to open up different things. Okay, so 1990. I could probably skip all of this if I knew that was there actually. Actually, it probably just appeared now that I know I need a code. But onward with the show. And it is very creepy that there's eyeballs in here. It's very concerning. It, it's, it's like this is drawn strictly f not strictly it, it this gives me silent hill vibes now i've never fully played a silent hill game i plan to but i do have the first three i might stream them i would i would need a capture card to do so I hear- I've been hearing the breathing the entire time I've come through here. I, I, it's very subtle. You would never notice this would be in here unless you actually looked inside. I- I very much appreciate that. Uh, that's actually very interesting. Alright, uh... Oh, he's actually standing there. He is very much standing there. Uh, oh, oh boy. <laughs> well, uh, <laughs> excuse my frequent pauses. This, I, I'm, I'm like most of the games that I've been playing recently. They haven't got into a level of scare. For some reason, this one is doing it for me. I don't know if it's just because it's so dark and I could barely see. The very obscure background music. Or the fact that there's the threat that's there, but it's also not there at the same time. It's just always at every corner. It's the I don't know what it is about this particular game. It actually has some fear to me. Maybe because I'm in the dark. Or maybe because it's a special time. Hey, you heard me coming. You, you walked away. You walked away from me. You turned away from me. Are you gonna like stand up and help me out with this? You you've been sleeping the whole time. No, not gonna help at all. A piece of pipe actually kind of scared me. I thought it was, he was just crouching there. Okay, you may be a homeless, eight foot tall person, but I, I'm a home full five foot six person. I don't know if that makes sense, but I have a home. You don't. And I'm about to beat you with my house. You around this corner, aren't you? This whole this is all psychological horror. Psychological horror. Okay, this is this is not gonna be this is all in my head. Most of it's in my head. I can't I I I I I, I don't I ooh. Okay, excuse me while I try to calm myself down. Uh some music is actually really doing it for me too. Uh ooh. Maybe I've reached my breaking point of how much horror games that I'm playing. But I've got some. I got cement, Miss Mr. Cement. Watch my back. I got a door. I gotta open up. Uh, code 1990. Unless I'm sorry, I'm busy. I have a door to open, and it's not the one you're knocking at. How do I move this? I got a crowbar, boy! Close the door!
Okay, I'm not gonna lie, that that was actually very good. Okay, uh, hmm, hmm, hmm. Oh, I'm getting goosebumps. Oh, I'm so scared. Uh, I got a crowbar. You turn into a car? Mind the cars universe? I'm ready to fight. I got a crowbar. It's got your name on it. Now, I don't know if that means it's because it's yours or because I'm going to hit you with this crowbar. Oh, it's a red room. Are you a car by any by any chance, by the way? Uh, the generator was this way. Yeah, this is where the poster was. Poster, postcard, po advertisement. So, with my with the force, I do this. It's funny that, you know, any resident could do this. This is why I don't trust elevators, by the way. Always take the stairs. Be healthy. Take the stairs. Be lazy. Take the elevator. And you might end up in this room. I don't know where this room is. This is probably the basement of my building. But why we have a basement is beyond me. I still got this crowbar. Oh, oh, okay. Oh, that is very freaky. I still got this crowbar. You want to come at me? This crowbar is going to meet your face. Where you at? Where you at? Where you at? Oh, hello. Nice smile. Very happy to see me. Well, I thought this whole time you were trying to hurt me, but I didn't know you were so happy to see me. But now that I know that you're happy to see me, I'm very happy to see you too. Nice to meet you. My name is Freya, or Reaper, or Retro, whichever one you like to call. It's whichever is easier for you. How was your day? Have you have you met Mr. Fly on uh, on on in the corridor over there? Ah, you have. Was he always that talkative? He was not. Well, did you know he was missing an eye? Oh, it's the eye in your right eye this time. Oh, okay, so you took it from him. So were well, you also eating him, by the way? Everyone's gotta eat? Yeah, you, you're right, you're right. You're right. Uh, everyone does gotta eat. Is there, is, is there any particular reason why you are naked, by the way? Not judging. Not judging at all. I am just wondering, you know. Is it because it's too hot down here? You were like, I don't need clothes. Or is there an, another reason you decided, you know, well, you know, I'm not, I don't need clothes. Again, not judging your lifestyle. You do you, you do you, I do me. So long as it's not illegal. Technically it is illegal for you to be naked in public. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to interrupt you. I thought we were having a good engaging conversation. I thought you and I have become best friends already. Uh. Are you serious question? How slanted to the side are you? Cause I'm assuming you're eight foot tall. And if I zoom into your body, <laughs> It, it, it you're like you're definitely a leaning tower you're <laughs> you look like the leaning tower of pizza nice teeth by the way i know a good dentist by the way who could help you clean up that up i know i know you're missing some i don't know okay i'm gonna be serious i don't know if this scare is supposed to be here this long if he's supposed to stare at me this long or I've just found I found the 
the the the the what's it called? The, the what what is it called? The sweet spot. The sweet spot and where I could just have him here the entire lead and I could just look at him. You have not moved a single inch, by the way. Are you even breathing? Oh. You're, you're a long neck. You are a very long neck. Your neck must be broken. Now, if you excuse me, thank you for the visit. Thank you for the visit. Whoa, hello. Were you coming up with me too? Oh, well, thank you. Nice, nice boxers. Where, where, are you a boxing champ by any chance? Whoa. Go in the doorway, please. There's an earthquake right now. Your presence is so menacing. Have you heard of an anime called Jojo's Bizarre Adventure? You would definitely fit in there. Your stand would probably be called like too tall or something. Well, it's nice meeting you. Thanks, thanks again for the for the visit. Well, that had its good moments of scares. I will tell you that. <laughs> now that I've completed through it, now I just realize how much of a bitch I am, and there was nothing for me to fear to begin with. Well, that was the end of Wrong Floor. This is why I take stairs and escalators. The only thing that could happen with them is you miss a step, you fall, and you die. You don't get up in the wrong floor and try to move through them. Uh, uh, I can't speak. To move on, uh, to move, move on with your life, I guess. Okay, so that was wrong floor. Very interesting. It did have its moments of scares. It built up its adipus here perfectly for me, and at least anyway. Uh... When I realized there was nothing for me to be afraid of. So we're going to move on from that. And we're going to just go right on into the next game. It has started. Uh, I can't switch. I can't switch the game for some reason. Is it because I'm not in it? Ah, oh, there we go. Alright, this next game is called... Overtime. Kind of like what I'm doing right now. I'm streaming overtime. Not really streaming overtime. I'm just uh, streaming very late than usual. I was caught up in my PSO2 customization. So, we work overtime. We're in a cubicle. I work overtime. I get that maid outfit. I will definitely be able to get it now. R click to zoom. Well, I found that out. Answer the phone call. Hi there, this is Gary from Internals. Oh, hello Gary. How are you today? I hope everything is good. I'm just calling to remind you of your meeting in the 15 minutes. Oh, I have a meeting. Oh, I'm, I'm sorry. Well, thank you for the reminder. It's nothing bad, I promise. <laughs> just a little chat. Well, so long as you promise, it's not, a, it's not a, it's anything bad. Unless it was Martha from accounting. But don't be late, alright? Now, have I ever been known to be late? I have perfect attendance. I may stream late, but that doesn't mean I'm late. Uh, are you there? Yes, I'm here. Do you not hear me speaking to you? Yes, I am here. Oh, <laughs> thought you were playing a little Halloween trick on me. Well, it is close to Halloween, but you know, I'm here. I'm professional. There's no need for tricks. I, I just get straight to the point. But... A conscientious worker like you would never violate our HR policy of no Halloween tricks like that. Of course, that's what I just said. I, I come into work. I professional mode. Nothing but work. Work, work, work. Play is after work. All right, all right. I've taken enough of your time. Meeting 15 minutes. Don't be late. You said that, fifth, that five minutes ago. So does that mean it's 10 minutes or it's still in 15 minutes? Oh, okay. Well, call ended. Ah, all right. Attend the meeting. Excuse me, people. And hello, Gary. 
Mike, how's it going? Nice blue shirt. You reach to pull the door open. But no matter how hard you pull, it stays shut. There's no response from the figure inside. Recognize this probably means you, sh you shouldn't go in and leave. Or keep trying. I'll keep trying. Still no response. Keep trying? Yes. Still no response. Keep trying? Yes. Still no response. Eventually, this will open. Excuse me, Mr. S Mr. Gary. I'm trying to come into the into the meeting, but your door is locked. It's your private time. Okay. Uh, I'm sorry. Oh, that's the boss's office. That's, that's not HR. How you doing, Mike? Steve. Steve, how's it going? You doing all right? My dog not lost or anything. Just check him out. Okay. Please seek approval from HR before posting any listings. Okay, car for sale, two thousand dollars only. Great for your first time buyer. Oh my. Okay. Uh, Improve. Okay. Oh, we have fun here. Okay, HR. HR. Where are you? Elevator button. I have called. Steve. Hey, how's it going? Guy on break. Best not to disturb them. Oh, Steve, you look so sad. I, I I know divorces are tough. Well, good talk. I need a meeting to attend. Oh, I can run. Emergency stairs? I guess I'll use the stairs. Attend the meeting on floor G1. Logistics and internals. Okay, so G1 is right here. Ground level 1. Logistics plus internals. Section 2. Ah, monotonous of office life. Every office floor looks the same. Every cubicle is the same. These offices really are all the same, huh? Bill, where's everyone? They all on break? Huh. Well, I mean, I do have a meeting to attend. So maybe they they left the offices just for me to attend this meeting. How very nice of them. This is where the meeting was meant to be. But no one's there. Did I get the time wrong? Huh. Maybe I did. Just to be courteous, I will close the door. And I will sit and wait. Check the time. Why must I check the time? I've already said I got the time. Oh. Wow. Ah, okay. I guess I'll, I'll slam the, the door in my face. You're right on time. Huh? What? Hello? Oh, huh. Hmm. Interesting, interesting. Community board? Jack Black. Oh, I work with Jack Black. Oh, this is, this is the best job ever. I take back everything I said about this monotonous work environment. Jack Black is here. That's all I care about. All right, I'm right on time. Let's go to my meeting and we'll, we'll just wait. Actually, my task is question mark. I don't know what the, that means. Also, the scare I completely missed entirely. Huh. <laughs> oh, I had to walk. What was that? Could have sworn I just saw. No. It's just stress getting to me. Or something like that. Better get back to my office quickly. Don't I have a meeting to attend to? I would wait in that office. This is probably costing me my job. Well, guess not. So, well, return to your office and... Steve, how's it going? Oh, excuse me. My, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, madam. I'm on break. If you need something, I'll be back at my desk in 15. Sounds good. Oh. Sorry. You're not even from my department. It's been a little hectic recently. Yes, it has. Uh, I, that's why I thought you were a good friend of mine named Steve. You, same shirt, everything, you know, just looked all the same. That You have familiar face. Is he your brother, by the way? Yeah, I feel that. I just have a bad feeling about today. I do, too. 
Not sure what it is, but I can't shake it. Yeah, you know, I was out in, in HR. I believe that's what it was, logistics or whatever it was that I was at. Just forget the name escaping my mind. There was blood there for a second, and, you know, Jack Black told me, you know, there's blood, just run. Just take care, all right? Oh, I will. Thank you. You take care of yourself. There's that strange feeling again. Return to your office? Ah, just shake it off. We we'll need another cup of coffee. It'll we'll be just fine. No, oh, Steve went back to work. Interesting. Oh, uh, which was my office? I mean, which was my cubicle? Return to your cubicle. Well, I am trying to, but I just I forgot which my cubicle was. Excuse me, boss. Mind to you reach to pull the door open, but no matter how hard you pull, stay shut. There's no okay. Recognize it probably means you shouldn't go in and leave. Uh, which was my cubicle? I'm assuming the one with the computer on. This is not my cubicle. Steve is not here. Mike isn't here either. Is this my cubicle? What well, I had a cubicle. Which one was it? My cubicle had a cup of coffee. I'm pretty sure. Jackson, how you doing? You and that Josiah have gone too far this time. One day, someone's gonna get end up end up hurt. Like your computer there? It's got the blue the blue error screen. Is this is this still about the USB prank? He seems to be ignoring you. There's a slight nervousness to him. Well Jackson. I hope you you do well. Ah, here's my computer. My spreadsheets. I am at my cubicle. Josiah, how you doing? Oh, hey. What's with that face? You good? Old man Jackson still giving you trouble? I've been having a pretty weird day. Yeah? You wanna talk about it? I'm all ears. Yeah, well, you know, I was, I went down to my meeting and then... Well, well, I guess... Not really. Hey. Alright. Check this out. What am I checking out? What? That's the sound of me respecting your privacy and whatever. Since I'm such a great colleague and or friend. Well, uh, you drinking monster, but I thank you, I guess, for respecting my privacy. Don't mind me that I was just standing on my office, my desk. Is that not my desk? Oh, crunch chips, my favorite type of chip. That's the only one that had a coffee mug. I'm assuming that was mine, right? Excuse me. Wait, what? Just a weird figurine. Looks a bit... It just looks a bit... Spreadsheet guy. Hey, spreadsheet guy. Day in, day out. I know the feeling. Spreadsheets are what it's all about. Oh. Excuse me. Day in, day out. Spreadsheets are what it's all about. What's it all about? Well, I'm... Spreadsheets, I'm pretty sure. You're not doing spreadsheets. You're looking at graphs. But... I, I can't understand. Is this my this one has a coffee mug too? I wow, I have like the worst memory. Hey Josiah, you remember where about what are you what you playing CSGO? And you're on the switch? Four cans of monster when you look at that. Where was my cubicle? Was it none of those or do I just have to talk to everyone? Oh, here it is. Oh, finally. I've been trying to reach you for hours. For hours? What are you talking about? Hi, Gary. Why the no-show? The... Right, you're talking about your disciplinary meeting. That you didn't show up for. I went to the thing. I was right on time. What are you talking about? Despite me calling you beforehand multiple times. It's not a good look, you understand. I do understand, but you were not there. You could have just told me you went on break. You don't have to take this all out on me. You are abusing your power. I went to the meeting, Gary. No one was there. I've been sitting at my desk this whole time waiting for you. These excuses just won't cut it. I'm not giving you excuses, Gary. I'm telling you. I went to your office. No one was there. I'm sorry. You're a good guy. But it has just been one thing after another with you. Hasn't it? I'm telling you the truth. Yeah, I have, I've been recording this meeting this whole time. 
I'm gonna have to ask you to head up to HR. Why? Right now. Alright, Gary. I know something isn't right with you. You're having the day off. I get it. I, I understand. We all have stressful days. But you're taking your anger out on me. I'm I'm definitely heading to HR. Because of that. Okay? You're, you're telling me you were waiting for hours? I'm sorry, but you falling asleep at your desk is not my issue. That is yours. Huh? It's jammed? Well, there are emergency stairs, so... Oh. Hello, Josiah. How are you? Hey. Hey, how you doing? Where are you headed? HR meeting. Oh, big trouble, huh? You've been doing something you're not supposed to? Well, I apparently didn't mean to attend to... I'm just messing with you. Oh, okay. Better get going. Yeah, sure thing, Josiah. Now, do you mind if I open this door now? Because you're just creepily standing behind me. No? Okay. Alright, G2. G plus 2. I'm assuming it's section 2. G. Uh, finance and accounts. That's not HR. So, there's uh, G plus 1. I really wish I should have taken the elevator. Boardroom. Emergency access only. Huh? Why is that emergency access only? Ah, human resources. Of course. They have the top. I was way further ahead of this. Well, convenient flashlight. Just my luck. Hello, human resources. I was told by Gary to angrily come up here. I know he's taking his frustrations out on you. Nice door, by the way. I love that decoration. So, I, I was wondering. Is there something we could do about Gary? He's a very shady character. He's trying to get me fired for no reason. I went to his meeting, and he was not there. And now he's trying to get me fired? Telling me I'm a good guy? I know exactly what he's up to. You see, he's over here making a mess. Gary, I'll dare you. Josiah? Is that you? I know we're all having a rough day, Josiah. But please, calm down. We're, we're all in this together. Well, this is awkward, huh? Yeah, it is. You. Uh, we're meant to see all this. I definitely wasn't. But, you know, I'm glad you got these guys out of the way. You saved my life. I was gonna get fired. Oh, no, it's okay. It's, it's fine if you're late. You missed one game. Uh, right now I am on overtime. I, I went to a meeting. The guy wasn't at the meeting, and now he's trying to get me fired. This guy named Josiah killed everyone in human resources but I'm looking at the bright side he saved me from getting fired at least I, I'm thinking that's what what's happening anyway first game it was uh, it had its atmospheric scares but other than that it wasn't as scary as I thought but it, it, it had its moments it really did now Josiah how do I thank you for killing every person in human resources and saving my job? I really need this job. But I figure you can guess where this is going now, huh? Yes, I'm gonna thank you for saving my job. And we're gonna move on, have a cup of joe together. Oh. Oh, I have died. Was I supposed to run? <laughs> uh, well, oh. Hello, Josiah. Again, thank you again for saving my job. Oh, hey. Well, hello. Your phone's been going off for like five minutes. I took it off the receiver, so it stopped. Hope that's cool. Yeah, it's fine. Probably Gary's just trying to scream at me again, trying to get me fired. He keeps telling me I'm a nice guy, but yeah, he's always doing everything in his power to try to get me fired. Haha, <laughs> you look totally out of it. Sleeping on the job? Ah, uh, you know it. You know, this coffee, it sucks. It's not keeping me awake at all. You know, spreadsheets all day, every day. I, it's just not for me. But I got to pay the bills. I got to get this maid outfit set up. And, you know, life is life. I had this really strange dream, though, by the way. Yeah? Oh, yeah. Let me tell you about it. 
I was about to get fired by human resources. You came in like Superman, broke down the wall, and and said, this guy right here, he's the best employee this building has ever had. If you listen to Gary, you're all taken for a fool. And you saved my life. You were in it, as I, as I was explaining. Oh. Whoa. Uh. <laughs> you see, Josiah? You are my best friend. You, you, yeah, that's cool. That's totally cool. You're my best friend, Josiah. We're in this together, you and me. I watch your back, you watch mine. No one cares about the other guy whose name I've completely forgot. Dude. Well, uh, we can catch up later. Don't you have to show, show some, ah, I can't, uh, I can't speak. Don't you have some meeting with Gary in 15 minutes or something? I do, I very much do. But you know, when I showed up, he was not there. So he's just trying to get me fired, like I'm telling you again. But thanks again for reminding me. By the way, you left your ketchup on, on my cubicle. I, I know lunch just passed, but at least be, be, uh, be hygienic. This ketchup is weirdly red, by the way. Oh, demo complete. Well, I had no idea that was a demo, but that was very short, very fun. I had fun creating dialogue that was not there. Josiah, thank you for saving my job. Gary, I hope he gets fired. He's been trying to get me fired. All I'm doing is showing up. I might show up late, but I do all my work. That's it. I do all my work. Anyway, that was overtime. Very short, very interesting. But it uh, it describes my situation very perfectly. So now we're going to load up into the final game. As soon as it loads, I will be able to display it. And it has loaded. Now let me see if this thing will actually let me display it right, right fast. Oh, this has some very trippy effects. Uh, I don't know if I need to put a... A, a seizure warning, but if it, if I do, then I will. But I mean, it it it. I I would just say it's 3D at best. It looks like you're looking through 3D. Uh, I cannot seem to find how to get this game to show up on stream. Well, uh, hmm. Let me. Let me do that real quick. Maybe that will do anything. There it is. Okay. Uh, this game is called Death Trips. Comes in as soon as I say the name. Uh, it's like uh, I have no control. And it appears I am already tripping to death by, the, by these noises. So, let's just get right into it before whatever is trying to kill me gets pissed off. October 31st, 2008. Would you look at that? It's almost October 31st here. Inspector M. James is in a hunt for a serial killer called Lady Death. The last victim of this dreadful criminal was found in this cheap hotel where Lady James is currently investigating. Unfortunately for the inspector, the murderer is still there. Ooh, interesting. Ooh, spooky. Now you say cheap hotel. Ah, uh, give me a second. <laughs> You say cheap hotel, but uh, this I've I've seen cheap hotels. <laughs> Dang, the date's close. Yeah, it's very close. Uh, very, I was not planning this. I, I saw this game when I was planning which three games to play, and I saw this here, so I was like, "Well, this looks interesting." Again, you call this a cheap hotel? What? What's a what? What's an expensive hotel then in, in these standards? This looks. It, nicer than the hotels that I've seen near where I live and those are cheap so well, I don't know what level of cheap this is this is high level cheap I mean high level high class cheap well the molded door kind of is up there not 
Ah, oh, soothing music. Now, why would I turn that off? Okay, uh, we'll take the elevator then. Now, this elevator does look very cheap. There's no buttons, so I don't know how it knows where I'm going. I guess it just... Whichever... It, it's tele... Well, now. <laughs> oh, I take back everything I said about new hotels. <laughs> okay, I'm staring into the void of a dark tunnel. Uh, hmm... Well, inward I go, I guess. Oh, motion sensor lights. Well, well, whoa, hey, hey, hey now, hey now, no running at me. This, I, this is why I said no running in the halls. <laughs> wow. Wait, that was it? That was it? That was the whole game? No way. Okay. I get the name Death Trips now. I get the name. Very haha -ha funny. I didn't expect this game to be five seconds long. <laughs> Not even five minutes, exactly. Uh. I feel cheated in a way. Uh. Well, I can always look for a fourth game because this was very, very short. So short, I didn't even find it scary at all. So let me exit the game. I don't want to hear like strange clacking noise masterpiece. Of course, masterpiece, it has to be. <laughs> so I will now leave this open to you. Shall I, shall I play a fourth game? Shall I break my... My thing going for a fourth game. Which one do you have in mind? I have no idea. <laughs> I, <laughs> I have no idea. Here's the thing. I, I set it up for three games. So I downloaded three games. I did not expect this one to be that short. <laughs> so I don't have one in mind. I can look for one very easily. Most likely. <laughs> I could very well look for one. So, if you want me to play a fourth game, I will. I, I don't mind doing it because that game was very, very short. So short. Hey, wow. 2.1 games? Yeah, that, that counted as 0.1 of a game, I guess. All right, with that logic, yes, I will look for another one then. We, we need a full-fledged third game. Now, I have to actually find a one that, uh, hmm, that is actually not that short. <laughs> I at least I can hope so anyway. Ah well this one says short. Oh don't tell me it's a browser one. Okay. Because I, I do not have my thing to for browser right now. Well one more could be nice since I came here so late and missed a lot. Well you didn't really miss much. You you actually came in uh, during the middle of the second game actually so technically this will still be three games for you <laughs> it's just well i don't know if i can consider it three games with that last one that lasted 10 seconds it i was expecting more but i guess i'm i'm the best detective in the world that the guy running towards me got so scared he he saw a plan was like well it might be better for me to to trip and die than to get blown up so <laughs> uh, <laughs> i'm just gonna go with that I'm, I'm i'm getting a raise for i i stopped i i did the unthinkable i've made the killer trip while he's trying to kill me i i don't know how I, I again cheap hotel it said I <laughs> cheap hotel motion sensor lights radio in the room couches everywhere yeah cheap hotel I don't know, what, what counts as a five-star hotel in this person's mind if that was a cheap hotel <laughs> they even had a working elevator sure there was mold on one of the doors but that's to be expected cheap hotel by the way 
Oh, why does this thing have a this? Why does it have an EXE setup? Oh well, if I get a virus, you will all be witnesses to me getting the virus. Am I running this properly? Wait, did I hit run? Okay. Uh, wow. Setup will in okay. Wow. Uh, I guess yeah. Create the desktop shortcut. I will unst I uninstall these right after I finish playing them anyway. Let me update my stream. This is now four scary games instead of three. I can't type at all. Again, I said I, I edit it here, but it's probably not even editing properly at all. Well, uh, this is doing its thing. How has your night been? It is very cold here. I am actually cold. I should have had a blanket with me or something. All right. Where 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 did that go? Where did that? Oh, there it is. Now, if I if I've installed the virus on my computer, everyone will be witness to that, and that will be laughed at by everyone. Not my fault. I just saw a game. I install. Oh, wow! That whoa. Okay, now I regret not being able to show how this thing started. That actually started, that had a very, very interesting uh, opening sequence. I, I, I really wish that I was able to stream that. <laughs> so I can explain how it, okay, it, it was at my desktop. I, I, I put it so it could at least download to my desktop and I, that's where I started it up. Uh, and any noise of water and or droplets you have heard, that was blood dripping onto my desktop on my screen. Yeah, cold here as well. It's been chill so far. I was doing the story and I can't really use keyboard because my wrist... Oh, your wrist still hurting? Well, I hope it does feel better soon. Now, uh, I have to figure out why this is not capturing the game. Let me do something. Or do I have to actually go through this? It, it was actually raining here before, so that's probably why. Oh, it's streaming. There, okay, got it. Uh, So this is Dispatch. And I hope the Final Fantasy XIV story is actually really good. Eventually, I will probably get into it. I don't know when, but I will I will try to play in through it. So this is Dispatch. For some reason, it decided to start with covering my entire desktop with blood. And it went into logo. That I would actually give a very high props. That was actually very good. Now I need to sign in. It is negative 7 degrees Celsius, so it is very cold in this game as well. 2.58 a.m. Monday, 24th, October 20th. Is that today's date? Wait, is that today's date? No, it's not. That is a day ahead. And it is also not 2.59. It is 6.27 a.m. Yeah, uh, if I do play, yeah, I will join your your area just so you can carry me through the game. <laughs> uh, Ashworth County Police Dispatch. Interesting. 2.59 a.m. This this is tomorrow's date. Monday, the 24th, October 20th, 2022. It is currently October 23rd, 2022. But I'm noob as well. You will still carry me. I will be newer than you whenever I, I get into the game. Uh, Enter password. Is my password password? Oh, well, that actually was my password. Interesting. 
Okay. Reports past week. Okay, exit monitor. Oh. 911 emergency. Oh, what? I noticed that you haven't been filling out the reports on the calls you've been doing recently. Listen, I know that you must be pretty torn up about what happened, and... Like I said to you before, this isn't on you. No one's blaming you. But I sent that detective out. He shouldn't have gone in the way he did. He should have waited for the right people to come and... He is a she, by the way. Said, no one's blaming you for that. Now, just don't stay in all night again and just fill out the reports on your calls, okay? You sure thing, Chief. Better soon. I'll keep in touch. Sure thing, Chief. I sent that detective in alone, and she killed the uh, the, the 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 suspect by making him trip. So that was. Hello, nine one one emergency. We need an ambulance, quick! Calm down and tell me what happened. He's going to die. Oh God, how could I let this happen? Who's going to die? Gus is. Who's Gus? What happened to him? He's eaten a whole Snickers bar. Is he allergic to nuts? Well, no, but dogs aren't supposed to have chocolate, are they? Bruh. He'll be fine, just call a vet. Okay, now I, f I fill out. This was minor. Dog ate chocolate. Also, I noticed I was actually picking up my mic. So that was... This, this is interesting. This is very interesting. Okay. Okay, I, I, I'm i liking this. Oh, I'm even turning in my chair. Oh, uh, 911 emergency. I'm beginning to think I would never get an answer. This is 911. What is your emergency? That wasn't much of an apology. What is the emergency, ma'am? being forced out of the shop unwillingly. I am a paying customer and you cannot force me to leave. Please leave the premises immediately. How dare you? You sound just like my ex husband. Well, maybe I am your ex husband. I cannot help you, so just leave the premises, ma'am. I will be calling your manager first thing in the morning. Go, go, do it, Karen. Glad to be of service. Person would not leave premises after closing. <laughs> I wonder, is it recording my actual voice responses? <laughs> it's... <laughs> Oh, uh, this, this this is interesting. <laughs> oh, nine one one emergency. What is your emergency? Hello, someone is trying to get into my house. All right, what is your address? Fifty four Raymond Street. Do you know who they are? It's got to be my ex husband. W what is he doing? He's been banging on the windows and calling out for me. He's not allowed to be here. Okay. Is he being threatening? He's trying all the doors and asking to see her. Asking to see who, ma'am? Sophie? She's our daughter. She lives with me. He gets visits. Is this one of his visits? Well, okay. Uh, I see. I'll, I'll get a unit on the way to calm things down. Ah! Oh, no! Whoa! Whoa! Hey! Whoa! Oh, I saw that. Uh, whoa, a unit is on the way, ma'am. I don't know, ma'am. There's someone breaking into my office right now. It's going to be some time. You may have to confront him. Like, excuse me, someone has just scratched up my window. You do that, ma'am. I'm about to die here. Oh, uh, mm, uh, alright, but if he's, if he's aggressive, go to your daughter. Stop until he finds her. Okay, uh, just make sure he doesn't... Then... Hello? Hi. Are you okay? Yes. My mom said I needed to talk to you. 
Yes, I have a bedtime story to tell you. There is a demon outside my window right now, clawing up at my windows, trying to get my attention. I need you to stay where you are. Your mom is going to talk to your dad. My dad is here? He said he was going to come last week, but he didn't. Well, life is full of disappointments. I'm sorry. Do you know why he didn't? Um, I'm not sure. He used to live here, but he would shout a lot. Sometimes... I think it was because of me. Well, that may be. But they both love you, though. Where is she? I want to see her. You can't be here. I've already called the police. I don't give a damn. Unit 8908, what are you doing? There is an emergency. Hurry up already. Oh, no. They're shouting again. Don't worry. It's okay. Where are you in the house? I'm, I'm downstairs, in the living room. Wait. Huh? What? Where are your parents? They're, they're breaking things in the kitchen. Can you, can you stop them? We can, but I need you to go upstairs. Oh, okay. I'm gonna run. You the 8908, oh, I see you just sitting there. Go to this house immediately. <laughs> Sophie. Come here, you. Uh. Stop it. Stop it. Let her go. Unit 8908, I will get you fired. There is a domestic disturbance happening at this house, and you are just parked. Oh, Jesus. Oh. Huh? What? Who? Hello? Uh, hmm. Is someone breaking in? Why, why, oh, what? Sophie, are you okay? My dad just, my, my mommy, mom. Sophie, where are you? Unit 8908, I will get you fired immediately. Why are you taking so long to get to this house? Oh, uh. Hmm, hello. I see that you've written coward on the door. Oh, 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 has, oh, has your dad hurt your mom? Yes, he pushed her, and now she's bleeding. Where are you now? Oh, is your dad still in the house? He, he's downstairs. I, I ran into my room. I can hear him breaking things. Can you lock the door? No, but I, I could put a chair in front of it. Mom did it once. Yes, do that. Do it quietly and stay calm. What is he doing? I don't know what he's doing. Smoke. Oh, uh, hmm. Uh, you can smell smoke. Unit 8908, you are taking the longest time to get to this house. Why is my desk shaking? I think, I think he's upstairs. Wait, I'm, I see smoke in my office. Hold on. Push the chair against the door. All right. I'll try. I'm putting the phone down. Yes. The the police are right there. Excuse me, there's a fire in my building now. Oh, why is the... Ooh, hello. Are you in there? Why is the door banging? Unit 8908, what are you doing? I'm sorry. Please come out. Oh. Uh. As I was trying to say, why is that rabbit bleeding? Uh, unit 8908. Hello? Do you think he's gone? The smoke is getting really bad. Um, hmm. Uh, ooh. I'm sure he's fine. Can you hear the sirens yet? Yes, I, I can hear them outside. Yes, please, please, tell them to help. I have. This is Unit 8908 approaching the property now. Why did you take an hour? The child is trapped inside. How bad is the fire? It's pretty bad. Looks like it started on the first floor. Where is the kid? Upstairs. She's she's on the second floor. We might be able to get in and out in time if we knew which room she was in. Don't condescend me. Gah. Sophie, I need you to go to a window and break it. There's too much smoke. Tell them to 
come and find me. Where are you? I can't send them if they don't know where you are. There's too much fire. Is she going to do it? The fire is getting worse. Now why don't you just go in there and look for her? I'm trying, but she is scared. We've got to try. Tell the fire brigade to hurry up. I was telling you to hurry up. You think they'll hurry up? You guys took your time. I don't think you should go in. It sounds too dangerous There's now. no time. We've got to try. That's what I've been telling you. Why'd you take so long to get there? Oh, I just noticed it says your fault on, on this thing down here. Uh, oh, there, there, what is that picture? Can I look at that? No, I can't. Uh, there are subtle changes happening around me, and it is scary. I don't, I don't remember that picture being there either. Why am I? Oh, God! Talk to me, kid. I need you to help us. My chest. Oh. We can't do it. <laughs> We've got to get out of here. No. Oh, I'm dead. Oh. It, does it matter? Does my choices matter in this? I, I wonder. This was actually very interesting. I really enjoyed this. Granted, Unit 8908, you, why, why did you respond to the call? And you took hours to get to the house i i looked at the map you were just you were parked for some reason <sighs> well that was dispatch Never seen a game like this before. Neither have I. I really liked how this was. I'm going to go through it one more time. I'm going to see if my dialogue choices actually matter. My password is probably password still. It, and it was. Greenwood, Ashwood County. Look at that. This is, this is actually very interesting. There's a lot of changes that happen around me. That I've never noticed. It, it's all just... It's all very... Hey there, son. Yeah, as I could see, there is... That board doesn't say coward. Are those eyeballs staring at me? Been doing recently. Listen, I know that you must be pretty torn up about what happened, and... Is someone staring at me? Like I said uh, before, uh, isn't on you. No one's blaming you. Uh, huh, huh. He shouldn't have gone. Is it me? He did. Excuse me. He waited for the right people to come and. Like I said, no one's blaming you for that. Is it me or do those look like eyeballs? Now, just don't stay in all night again and just fill out the reports on your calls, okay? I hope you feel better soon. I'll keep in touch. Uh. Hey, that really does look like someone staring at me. I don't know if that's like a lamp or something. Ah, yes. We need an ambulance, quick! Calm down, tell me what has happened. He's going to die! Oh god, how could I let this happen? Who's going to die? Is... Who the hell is Gus? He's eaten a whole Snickers bar. Is he lactose well, intolerant? No, but... Dogs aren't supposed to have chocolate, are they? You'll be fine. Just call a vet. All right. Has anything changed? Cause what? Oh, yeah. Something has changed. I wonder. Is this is this changing due to my response? Let me fill out that. Uh, let me fill out this report. I can't type today. Okay, so it's not someone staring back at me. That's just a light reflection or something. Oh. Finally, I was beginning to think I would never get an answer. This is 911. What is your emergency? I, an apology. I, I didn't say I was going to apologize. Just tell me your emergency. I'm being forced out of this shop unwillingly. Do you consent? Yeah, yeah. It's 
Why are you in there? I'm a paying customer, and you cannot force me to leave. What is your name? You don't have the right to know my name. You called me. What do you mean? I am sorry. I cannot help you. I will be calling your manager first thing in the morning. Yeah, sure thing, Karen. Yeah, glad to be of service. So I guess I don't have the right to know people's name. Even though they call me. Uh. Yeah, it's minor. <laughs> She's trespassing. Ah, there we go. Now this is your fault. Okay. These changes are very subtle. I've never noticed them. Now that I know where they are, this, I'm actually seeing them on my second playthrough. Do you have a real emergency? <laughs> Someone is trying to get into my house. What is the address? 54 Raymond Street. Do you know who they are? It's got to be my ex-husband. What is he doing? He's been banging on the windows and calling out for me. He's not allowed to be here. <laughs> Why is he trying to break he in? To see our daughter. He was meant to be here a few days ago, but he didn't show up. Speaking to him may calm him down. Oh, he's irrational. Plus, he's caused me and Sophie enough upset. I'm sorry to do that. I'll get a unit on the way. <gasps> oh no! He's broken in. Tell him to hurry. How long are they going to take? They're only a couple. Uh, why? Why am I gonna lie to this lady? I'm going to give the phone to my daughter and try to talk to him. All right, can you keep him busy he until the police stop until he finds her? <laughs> Just make sure he doesn't find her then. <laughs> Such advice that I'm giving. Hello. Uh, hi. Are you okay? Yes. My mom said I needed to talk to you. What's going on? I need you to stay where you are. Your mom's gonna talk to your dad. My dad is here? He said he was gonna come last week, but he didn't. Well, that's because he's a demon. Are they playing hide and seek? Well, ha, hmm, ha, hmm, they stole blood. <laughs> no, they are high. They're gonna, they've gone to play some someone else. Ah, oh, now it says coward on that uh, board over there. Oh no, they're shouting again. <laughs> your dad needs to listen to your mom. Uh, it's okay. Where are you in the house? He won't, but she what? Doesn't listen to him either. Sophie, I need you to go to your room. But, but why? Why can't they just stop fighting? Because they are grown children. They will, but you need to go upstairs. Okay. I'm gonna run past them and go into my room. <laughs> Sophie! Come here, you. Stop it. Stop it. Let her go. <laughs> okay, I'm actually. Oh, that's when the rabbit gets on it. Look, it's bleeding. What was that sound? Okay, uh, is your dad still in the house? He's downstairs. I, I ran into my room. I can hear him breaking things. Can you lock the door? No, but I, I could put a chair in front of it. Mom did it once. Okay, then do it. Do it. It shouldn't be long for help to arrive, even though I'm looking at him standing still. Smell burning.
We will help her. Push the chair against the All right. door. I'll, I'll try. I'm putting the phone down. So, are you in there? I really like this game a lot. <laughs> this is very, very interesting. I'm sorry. Please come out. Oh, okay, the, wow, I really like how well done this game is. I, I could... I didn't download a virus, I downloaded something else. Do you think he's gone? His no! He's getting really bad. <laughs> Hopefully, but you need to leave now. Oh, actually, can you sirens? I, I can hear them outside! Yeah, please, please, tell them to help. Dispatch, this is Unit 8908 approaching the property now. We need fire services here ASAP. Why? The child is trapped inside. How bad is the fire? It's pretty bad. Looks like it started on the first floor. Where is the kid? In her room. Blocking the door. We might be able to get in and out in time if we knew which room she was in. I just told you she was in her bedroom. <sighs> So I, I assume that no matter what. Okay, okay. I'm going to do it. I hear her. Keep talking to me, kid. We're on our way. I'm afraid to turn around. I don't know what that was. Uh, okay. Uh, hmm, hmm. Okay, I'm going to turn. Is, is that is that a silhouette in my uh well this is actually different oh the bunny disappeared look the monitors are off uh well oh <laughs> come here kid <clears throat> I got you it's all right <clears throat> we're getting out of here I saved her. Oh, I didn't die this time. Oh, there's multiple endings. I didn't die. Interesting. Interesting. Very, very interesting indeed. This was a short game, but it was very interesting. I really enjoyed this. I wasn't expecting that either. Like, as soon as I saw the monitors turn off, I was like, okay, th I'm just gonna die again. But I guess it actually mattered if you save the girl or if she dies. Obviously, I will not be a good 911 dispatcher because I, I got her killed. <laughs> I'm, my comments are also very, very, very. Yeah, I, I could lose my job just making those comments if I was a dispatcher. <laughs> So, well, that was Dispatch. Uh, this this is actually very well done. I really enjoyed this one. There's settings? What are these settings? Oh, there's, there's all the settings. Ah, there's my microphone getting picked up. Oh, it's even telling me what microphone I'm using, too. Voice recognition? What? Why? What, what voice recognition is it doing? Okay. Uh. So, yeah, that was Dispatch. A little surprise game in there because the third game I played was 10 seconds long. So that I'm not even counting that one as a full game. So I am very glad I found this game. This It had its moments. It, it, it changed the environment around me that I would have not have noticed if I was not being perceptive. As you saw my first playthrough of this where I was not even looking at things changing. I will turn off the computer. And that there's no blood on my desktop this time, thankfully. So, yeah, that was four scary games wrong floor, overtime, 
death trips. Now that I know why it's called that, I'm just, I'm, wow. And dispatch. So, I am not sure what else to say other than maybe I should always have more than three games ready in case a game is 10 seconds long. I, I was not expecting that. <laughs> so, thank you all for joining me. I really got to commend Dispatch. That w I really loved that game. It was short, but I just love how it was made. I don't know why. I, I, I actually want to see if there's more. But yeah, anyway. Thanks again for joining me on this adventure. From three scary games, we went to four. But I'm still counting it as three. Because one was not even a... I don't consider a full game. And one was a demo as well. So, thank you all for joining me.